The Chugoku Power Company declined our requests for an interview, refusing to answer questions about safety fears or answer what amount to allegations of bribery. <laughs> We joined the islanders as they set off to the mainland to protest against the nuclear plant. <laughs> While construction at the site has been suspended, they want the government to scrap the project altogether. <laughs> For 30 years, they've defied the national government, the nuclear power company, and its fistful of dollars. And what happened in the tsunami has only made them stronger than ever. The final insult the proposed site for the reactor is the very spot where the sun rises each morning over their island. Fisherman Okamoto, like most of the 500 residents here, has been fighting against the Chugoku Power Company for more than half his life. Together with his fellow men of the sea, he won't sell out his lifestyle for any amount of money. <laughs> Back up north in Omar, anti-nuclear holdout Atsuko Ogasawara welcomes another visitor. Kazuo Miura has come all the way from Fukushima, 500 kilometres to the south, and as well as moral support, he's offering something else. <laughs> <laughs> this little log bungalow has become a focal point for Japan's anti-nuclear movement. As well as visitors, there's a constant stream of calls and letters of support. <laughs> And she shows me what she says is the nuclear company's latest act of harassment. Living in the shadow of a nuclear power plant doesn't stop her from enjoying her garden, but lack of water might. Nonetheless, this determined woman says there's nothing the nuclear power company can do to force her from her cottage. It's the night of the dead, the Buddhist festival of Bon. And like her neighbours, Atsuko Ogasawara is paying tribute to her ancestors. It's a time of prayer and pyrotechnics and a chance to honour her beloved mother. Oh. 
と一緒に頑張ってきましたけれども母の意思を思いを意思を継いでそこを私が生きている限り頑張っていきます戦っていきます After Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and now Fukushima, she's far from alone in that fight. However, in a country that's the world's third biggest consumer of electricity, others feel there's no choice but to accept nuclear power. What they want is an industry that spends less on buying off its opponents and more on rigorous and transparent safety controls.